did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Ah, oh, sweet. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The wonder. Yeah, I'm the utter ending. We'll be, uh... Will be uh, uploaded to YouTube very soon. Just I was very busy today, so I couldn't do it earlier. Heard it's a little gassy. <laughs> yeah, still a little, uh... <coughs> ah, seriously. Sorry. Partially because I'm drinking Pepsi. Partially because I just had the uh, supper. I know it's really late to being supper. But it was just one of those days. And I knew this was going to take me quite some time. If anything, like last night. This one is actually uh, quite a bit longer than the other episodes. Since, uh, the other ups, well, it's partially on par with the fifth, uh, first one, I'd say. It took me initially about two and a half hours to play the first one, to learn everything. This one, first time through, took me roughly the same amount, just because, like, again, they changed some of the, uh, they had different type of, uh, well, I wouldn't really say levels, but, like, certain requirements so yeah then i forgot how to do a few things since it was so long since the last episode was released and another reason why i didn't do this last night was because uh i don't like uh this game i don't like not doing the entire episode straight like start to finish is like, yeah, not one of those games that you can like pick up and whatever and like save in the middle. Well, you can, but like, dream wise, it's not one of those games where I'd do that. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. Yeah, that's a normal burp. As you heard earlier, it sounds like I threw up whenever I burp. Holy shit, didn't notice that though. What? Where? Uh, the dark room. So they were right. And to be honest, I didn't even notice that the first time. That she was there. Is anybody out there? Please help! Uh. Finally, I'm free. Almost. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way.
be honest, this was like one of the uh, this was just like one of the things that I, got. I forgot the mechanics to mechanics Stare there. Stay still. <laughs> oh, Max, you fucked up my shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. But I love the pure of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Oh. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. If you were ace, it would be uh, no aces rules. Or never give up, according to the season finale of that uh, season. Max. 
Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where... Where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help, and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How? Max, I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he toasts us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? i do anything to see Kate once more. Anything? Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. That entire thing was uh, completely new to me. Just an FYI. Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This, this might work. Please work. But yeah, that was completely new. Uh, completely new to me. I didn't even know Sasha was there earlier. some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days.
You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. Now, who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Then why did you blame David Madsen for stalking Kate? Of course he was the only person who was about to find out the truth. Irony. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often. Teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me. Dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No! You didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like a father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. That's you evidence. Can't this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Surprise, and motherfucker. And Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. I you don't need a computer. Okay. Wait. Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max. <coughs> I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. 
Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm back. A wonderful photographic right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Time Heroes. Time to change time. Francisco, where you'll be feted by the <coughs> Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. I should be able to track down found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? No, you're just doing too much coke. It doesn't matter what... I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. 
Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. That's okay, too. That ended I very differently in the other what one. Did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. Kind of like her. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. I will continue cutting my Velociraptor and toenails. so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. I can't Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. I have to admit, 
I love being called an artist. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited How am I too. To figure that out? The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop one. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Again, too much Christ. blow. Another nosebleed? Max. You're not just screwing around with time. Yeah, you're screwing around with Mr. Jefferson. Damn, that was weird. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. That's what she said. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. The dark room. I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Oh, whoa, oh, wow. They're still sitting from a private number.
What the hell? Technically, it shouldn't have been... Uh, yeah, that private number, like... Yeah, that one shouldn't have happened. Wow, Sir Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Again, with the blow, you shouldn't. This is why you shouldn't do. Oh, Chloe! hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Yeah, no. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag, high altitude, skydiving, blow. But yeah, this is one of the reasons why you shouldn't do blow. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm, Chloe, I'm can you hear me? Hello? 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 Hi. Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Colors, look at the focus shape. Like, I do not understand art. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Exactly. Technically, I could call myself one, even though I'm terrible. Fucking it. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. And I can't fuck with anything else. Damn. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, 
Your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world. Victoria Chase, go. You let her. Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shutter. The pictures you're taking of me. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck, he burned my diary. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something weird. <laughs> Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss. At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You, you don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Wait, her flannel shirt. Nice. Final dose won't hurt. I smell that now at the butterfly or the moth or whatever. All right, I have to actually wait for her, the guy to show I up. Promise. This final dose won't. Please have some water. Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. What? Shit. No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. 
You are not going to stop me. Then it's over. Max, are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. Good God. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I guess I looked just as suspicious when you told Principal Wells that I was harassing Kate Marsh. And I don't blame you. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. And I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on but Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat that pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose too I could have stopped him and Nathan if only I wasn't so stupid no I, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it I put the school in danger we all make decisions we regret but I have to admit, I'm impressed by you, and Chloe, and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while well, you had each other. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start, and I know it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but... I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams or kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like, except Joyce. She gave me hope, a new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she, she would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but 
Maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? Uh, I already know what happens in both. Uh, I ended up uh, telling... Sticking with the uh, hide the truth just because of... Morelli, but I wanted to see... And it actually ended up working out well for me, but... I want to see what happens if I say, tell the truth, and then, like, what affects it? It has to under the road. Is, is dead. This isn't happening. You can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you, are you sure? Are you... Yes, I... I saw her. I... I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... What? God damn it! killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, uh, thank you for saving me. Jefferson is dead now, but I can still bring Chloe back to life. Wow, and you didn't even contemplate your decision. Well, she kind of did, but like she wasn't tor too torn up about it. Like she was when uh, I told I hid the truth.
torture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. <laughs> and I'm the wow. one trapped in this fucking radio station. A photography t- teacher who now, now did all that shit. Listen to uh, all these, uh, all of those radio stations. I think someone at a uh, liberal arts, uh, call, quote unquote, college uh, would be more open. With- To be honest, I uh, initially let him die. Shit. Alyssa needs help again. Dude, just let her go.
can I get out of here? Oh, no. Well, uh, oh, no. Look into those hot, creepy eyes. Uh, this there might be a way to save him, but. I'm going to change time anyway. To be honest, I actually did try the first time through, but I couldn't find it. I didn't want to invest too much time in trying to save him. Especially when I'm about to uh, change time anyway, so I figured like saving, uh, unlike the other lives I apparently saved, I uh, didn't mind like screwing over that guy in the very least. Uh, apparently I have to let the place blow up first. So this will be possible. Front door is not, uh, it's uh, barricaded, so I can't use it. Inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Horn has been gathering all the first aid. And... It's not much, Joyce. It's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. I'm so glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. <coughs> I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I am so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle. Fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. You just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want. Now shut up and listen. Yeah. Wow. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I think that this storm started 
everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse, the birds, the whales, everything. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Warren, I know this all sounds insane, but you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Adoken! Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Hey, be careful out there. You're gonna alter time anyway? So, why not, uh. Oh, shit, I should have done that. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say. I know, Warren. Of course you do. I'm gonna make the right choices from now on. Yeah, whatever. I swear. That's why you're super max. You know you're gonna reverse time once more. Here. <sighs> I was just about to drive to Los Angeles, too. Shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, to Warren. Go to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. 
You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I, I... I had to make a terrible choice, and I... I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and... You... You asked me to... End your life. I did. For you... I... I didn't want you to suffer... In any other timeline or reality. I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, no matter how much of a douche he's been, David truly cares about you. Yes, a slap across the face is a sure sign of tough love. You should have seen his reaction when I told him that Jefferson killed you. He was crushed. Are you serious? I... I can't see him showing any feeling. Except towards my mom. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. We have been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David. And we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just 
Explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive, oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked, it actually worked. You're with me again. <sighs> Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best man. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that, too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. And the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is it stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on that. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. That's weird. Oh wait, never mind. The first episode it was. I've got your back, Max. Is that I got destroyed? Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film "little pieces of time." I I'm back in class. What the hell? These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly Okay, this is messed up. Am I stuck in a time loop? Yes. Bueller. Diane Arbus. Be calm and don't freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless cancers, I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as Wait, torture. what's going on? Nobody even cares? Keep it to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and catch you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? Yes, yes you this did. doesn't make sense. Ew, it makes perfect sense. I yeah. see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much. 
and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I like to think of it as our dark realm. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm. Of course, Max. I can capture you over and over. You can be my model for life. And death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. Yeah. It can't be real. I don't believe it. Yeah, I'm like just speaking through it just because uh fucking this is yeah, I'm just going to I'm just speaking through it. So I'm probably gonna miss out on a lot of things if you're looking for like all the clues. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. I'll say I have no idea why I did that. I used to have your best no times again. We're looking up. I'm just an evil and I really hate snow. We don't be not at all. There's a little bit of an ordinary skin. Let's see if I'm wearing all shops. We're having my master's.
Fuck you, deer. Or doe. Oh, right. This part of the game. Don't I was hoping. Try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me capture you. This took me longer than it should have the first time through. I was really the hoping. Is coming after me, Max. No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Yes, yes, she does. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Fuck. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. What? Maybe I'll wake up. You're smart, Max. I thought I could be your professor. Max! Max! Hey! Hey! Where the hell am I now? Oh, fuck. Back here. Max. Max? Hey, Max. Fuck, too far.
Blackwell, this is Crystal Wells, and I'm here to drop the mic. Max. Crystal Wells, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. And too far. To play, come out to play. Come on, to steal money from the handicap. Nobody will miss Max or her friend. Hey, Chloe babe, after babe. This comes out. who wants to go away? Go away, go away, babe. Max, wait, go away, babe. Too bad you didn't become wait, Max. <laughs> Too bad you didn't become friends with the Delaney. Miss. Price can't just show up at Blackwell in a wheelchair and think we're going to accommodate you just your every power wish. to cheat at life and cheat your friends Sneak out of it over here. Wife, stop, Max. What the hell did you do for her? Over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Friends. Come back to Darkwood. I know those were my beans, Max. Those were my fuck Max. Those were my fuck Max. For it. Oh no. Bottles. This might be hell. Max. Max. Rachel. Got you. You open, freak. Max, come back to the dark room. I know. Well, so. these ones aren't too hard to find. Carcass next to Rachel and do an epic photo shoot. Oh, when did I get bad bottle karma? Get high like Rachel. Want some drugs? Yes. Is there one more left? Oh, man, Rachel, you look just like a zombie model in the dirt. Oh, Max! I want to share my pain. Why? I want to. Please let that be the last one. Max! My arm is itchy. Max, you want to say hello to Rachel? Me and Rachel are floating down here. In yeah, you can actually take a photo of this. I need proof that bottles were out to get me, just in case. Normally, really, that would be an achievement, but I already had it. Oh, time for a good sit. Making a fabulous breakfast for the staff. <laughs> We're all going to work at the two wing. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious growth for us. You to are ridiculous. Tomorrow. 
You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Lock up after I leave, play nice, try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine bait. What the fuck? Oh, fair enough, fair enough. How long will this nightmare go on? Yeah, this one is pretty long. Even with all the stuff that I skipped and knowing I think everything. Be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Holy shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. Guess she's not as innocent as she acts. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. Come here. Damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. You're lucky that uh, they're te uh, cats, You're technically so over 18. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Then again, this is, that's probably uh, why they did because like, they probably knew the storyline's going to end up like that. Powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I see what they did there. never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Great, numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? To be honest, that title just took me a while the first time through. <coughs> Don't kill us, Max. <coughs> I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Shit, I can't Max. You kissed me. I thought we were on the like same team. So this is how Max. I know I haven't been the best. Don't let the new baby. Die. We'll have to go now. Always had my back, and now you're going to let me die. So we can finally have our tea session. Who are you? Holy shit! Are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. 
No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people <coughs> into thinking you give a rat's ass. That's true. I wasted my power on trying to be friends with everybody. About time you admitted that. But it's way too late after everything you've done. But I still have great friends. And my power helped some. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? This has to be my destiny to save her. I wouldn't be trapped in here if I didn't believe that. No kidding. Chloe trapped you with her drama. Guns, drugs, Rachel. Even stealing money from the handicapped fund. <sighs> She's just using you, dude. Like, she even asked you to end her life and do what she couldn't do by herself. Chloe does a better job of guilt-tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birth- This song fucking rules. Can't dance. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Let's talk about your superpower. Welcome to American Rust. My home away from hell. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bond- I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Max, you better come check out these files. Cowabunga! Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze- Photo bomb! Oh, I double dare you. Kiss me now. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down? Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. Oh, awesome picture. Chloe, you're back. Kate wasn't the first. Rachel! No, Rachel, no, no, please, not her! Come on, Max, Come we're on, almost Max. there! So the moment of truth, people. Max, Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe. I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible.
the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You and me both. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... to... fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My step... Father deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once. I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Well, as promised, I'll sacrifice Chloe. Don't you, don't you have, ah, uh, forget how the song goes.
It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! This is nuts here. Ah, nice knuckles. Nice. 